All right, today we're gonna get a feel for how strong each particular firearm is. And we're gonna do it in the most unscientific way possible because learning is fun, but pretending like you know what you're talking about is way funner. So we're gonna start by shooting at some water jugs, then I got a chunk of meat, and we're gonna shoot at that thing. So let's get started. Let's start off with a 45. We're gonna be paying attention to the splash. All right, so the 45 definitely caused damage, but it was real kind of anticlimactic. So let's step up. Let's go to 62 grain penetrator out of the MLP. America. Water jug definitely exploded on that one. Flew way up by the GoPro. Not too bad. But a lot of the plastic is still in place, so it didn't deliver a whole lot of energy, which kind of sucks. Let's step up to the AK. Now the AK gets a huge advantage here because they really don't start shit in the bed when it comes to ballistics until about 50 yards. We're only at maybe like 25. Water jug definitely blew apart, but it's still in one piece. So, you know, it's not quite what I'd like to see. I'd like to see complete destruction. Let's step up to something a little bit faster. Let's go to a 55 grain M193. We'll be shooting that out of the Black 13. Uh, the jug still didn't explode. Got a nice hole in it, but I'm not getting the explosion I'm looking for. Let's go... Scar 17. We'll be shooting a 147 grade full metal jacket. The jug's leaking, but I think I just grazed it. Let me shoot a different jug. That one blew up, but not quite what I'm looking for. The jug's leaking, but I think I just Let's go with the shredder. Shooting 55 grade. This particular load is at 3,600 feet per second. Hmm, how to do this. Dude, that was a nice explosion. Still not quite what I'm looking for though. So let, let's step it up a bit more. All right, so this is my last attempt. It's the biggest and baddest thing I got. Uh, 212 grain. I believe this was flying at like 3,800 feet per second. We're going to shoot this out of the profit. See if that does something a little cooler. There we go. That was the explosion I was looking for. Yeah. So, did pretty good against the water jugs, but I think we need to try it against the meat. Let me get the meat target set up and we'll give her a shot. All right, so to start, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot that thing with an AK. See how it compares to different 55 grain projectiles that we're going to move up and see what kind of damage we can put on that chunk of meat, which is partly frozen. So 
So here's our entry wound right there, nice and tiny. And it did fully exit. This is what it looks like right there. All right, let's try some 5.56. Five, five, All right, let's go to a 62 grain penetrator out of a 14 and a half inch barrel. See what kind of damage that'll do. Tried to shoot it in a new spot. We'll see how far from the old hit we actually got her. All right, so here's our entry right there. Nice and tiny. Here's our exit. It's incredible. Almost the exact same damage as the AK. Let's step up velocity and kinetic energy a little bit. Let's go 55 grain, 556. Five, See what that'll do. All right, so now we're gonna go to 55 grain. M193 bowl. See what that can do. All right, so it appears this is my entry wound. I can't remember which one was there first, but I believe this is the entry wound. Tip it over. Oh, wow. It made hamburger. Mm -hmm. Like, it really messed it up compared to the AK or the 62 grain. M193 is definitely the way to go when it comes to those projectiles. All right, let's step up to the scar. Again, 147 grain, full metal jacket. Let's see what a 308 will do to that compared to the rest. All right, so here's the entry wound. Kind of a bad shot, a lot lower than I wanted it, but I wanted to stay far away from the other hits. So, definitely a bigger exit wound, but again, it didn't pass through near as much as material as the other ones, but still, it looks a bit more devastating than the 5.56 or AK rounds. Kind of debating if I want to reshoot this. We'll go through the other calibers, and maybe we'll reshoot the scar. All right, let's hit it with the Shredder, 243, 55 grain. This particular load is flying at about 3,600 feet per second. Table's kind of becoming a mess, so let's do this one offhand. Holy f So this is my entry hole right here, or no, right, yeah, right here's my entry hole. Holy h look at the damage this caused. Take it out of the light. I didn't get passed through because I slammed right into the bone. Where is that, the lights? You gotta get out of the sun. Oh, I got it for a second. Because I hit bone right there, but dude. Let's see if I can get my fingers in there all the way. It's about this deep in damage, and it's about this big of a crater. Not bad at all. I'm gonna take another shot with the 243 because I wanna see what it'll do if I don't hit the bone and come up in here. Second shot with the shredder, we're gonna try to avoid the bone. Hopefully I didn't overshoot that because I felt like I pulled the shot up kinda high. All right, so it looks like this is my entry hole right here. There's not an exit hole. So on your really, really big targets, a high velocity 55 grade may not be the answer. Plus I'm running varmint tips, so they don't penetrate very well. But if I was shooting at a pig, the pig would still be alive because it wouldn't have made it into the vitals. All right, let's hit it with the profit. 300 PRC, 212 grain. America. <laughs> Did you miss? Because that thing should have went. I have no idea where I hit. Did I miss? Nope. Oh. Alright, so I have no idea where the entry hole is. 
It could be any one of these holes because I lost track of which one is which. But let's take a look at the exit real quick. Kabam! It's in the sun. Definitely the biggest damage out of all of them. There's literally a cavity all the way through it. That thing packs a punch. Um, Hit it with the shoddy now? Yeah. Should, should we go shoddy? Yeah. Okay, let's go shoddy. <laughs> Not sure why I had the malfunction, but every once in a great while this does it. I think I might need a new hammer spring. It's probably getting a little weak. So you can see a bunch of new little holes here. There's one up there, one right there, one right there, one over here. Let's take a look at the back side. So the only one that passed through, it looks like this right here, and then this one right here. I can't see because of the sun. There you go. Oh, no, block the sun. There you go. And this one right here, but this one seems kind of small. I wonder if this was actually the 243 and I just didn't see it before. I bet this is actually the 243 exit. All right, so... I really don't see what else we can do besides go close range and see what happens then. So... Let's get this out of the way so I don't have to work. Actually, you know what? That can stay there. We're at close enough range where it shouldn't make a difference. You guys wait right here. Let me go grab a gun quick. All right, so let's see what close range with 300 PRC will do. Babe, be careful. Back up a little bit. Oh, my God. Woo! America! Babe, I was not ready for that. That was awesome! <gasps> Thought I was gonna die. I think I missed it though because you just didn't say, hey, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> well, Alright, All right, so... We could probably get this bag out of here now because it's not staying together. Damn. Actually, I clipped it right here. Up here. Clipped it right there, blew off the top half of it, and went into there. This usually actually sits something like this. Not the ideal spot to shoot it, but whatever. You know, that works. Let's try another point blank shot. Alright, so let's hit it with buckshot point blank range. I think it's the only thing left to do. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my god. That was lame. I thought it would have like exploded into pieces. Right? Reshoot it. I mean, it did some damage, but it was a little anticlimactic. I gotta try something else here. Not really getting the desired effect I want, so there's only really one thing left to do. Let's tear it apart. Well, we didn't really score that many hits on the actual target, but it still did a lot of damage. As you can see, we scored a hit right there, right there. This thing's kind of hard to control. It's a really light rifle. Still just, this thing needs to be tore up a little bit more. Let me, let me, let me hit it with something else. All right, so let's, let's try it with the shredder. Let's tear it apart with that thing. See if the shredder holds up to its name. Ah, in a comfy position. a lot of smoke in the eyes. Yeah, I pretty much just cut it across here. Definitely got some exiting this time. Oh, I just dropped the projectile. Damn it. That would have been cool to keep. 
All right, yeah, it's still a little bit whole, so we're gonna hit it with the scar next and see if we can't chew it up a little more. It's really hard to tell the new damage in the front because it's so beat up. Back still looks about the same. I think we're just going to leave the pig alone because I've already dumped like $150 worth of ammunition into it and it's still pretty whole. Till next time, piggy. Till next time.